Hey guys, MV6900 here, and today I'm showing a mod showcase. Mario, what mod showcase are you doing? Well, I'm doing the Ciano's Wonderful Wands. Do you want to know what that is? Well, it's just basically a bunch of wands. Oh, and, and uh, robes and stuff, and hats. Yeah, you like hats, don't you? Yeah, you do. Anyways, guys, let's get straight on to this mod review. Today I'm going to be reviewing each wand and what they do. The first one we're going to be doing is called the non-magical wand, and you're, what you're going to need is one stick, a golden nugget, and another golden nugget. Let's see what that is. It's just a non-magical wand, and it's just a, basically a stick. That's basically what it is. It's just a, a plain stick. Why not? You, you need to start off somewhere, right? All right, so like start off practicing, you know? Just, you know, it's just a regular wand. You know? It's, it doesn't do anything. It, it doesn't do anything. Be honest so that's why it's called the non-magical wand put that back the next one we have is called wand of magic missiles and what you're gonna need is one stick one golden nugget and an emerald now we're gonna call that the basic because that's pretty much what you're gonna need for all of the rest of the wands so we're gonna call that the basic three hmm. the basic three is consisting of the golden nugget the stick and the emerald now for the magical missiles you're going to need two golden swords to make this one, and then make the Wand of Magical Missiles, or Magic Missiles, to be honest, sorry about that. And what this does is basically just fires missiles, um, you just hold right, right click, and it shall, you know, it shoots like arrows. It, it pretty much is arrows, to be honest. Um, so yeah, that's what they look like, and um, if we can find an animal around here, yep, there's some cows, let's shoot it there. Yep, and it kills them instantly. It, it works way better than an arrow, to be honest. They're like, because it's a rapid fire, and it shoots as if like the bow has been already drawn back. Drawn back. It works as if the bow has already been drawn back way too much. I'm just gonna put that back, and let's go to the next one. The next one we're gonna be doing is Wand of Fire, which you're gonna need the basic three and two fire charges in this order. Yeah, they're always gonna be in this order. The way I have it right here, that's gonna be what. That's gonna way. The way I have it right here, that's the way it's going to need to be for each one. Wand of Fire. So what you're going to do is, uh, let's aim at that bat. Yeah, it shoots fire charges, and these things are too slow for this. So, yeah, it just shoots fire charges, and it, you know, you're pretty much just a gas when you get it. And we're going to put that back, and we're going to go on to the next one. And the next one is called the Wand of Death. And what you're going to need is the basic three and two Wither Skeleton Skulls. This is going to be quite difficult because Wither Skeletons rarely drop their heads. It's called the Wand of Death. But you're also going to be just like the Wither. What do you mean by that, Mario? Well, let me show you. See that keg right there? It's not there anymore. Yeah. It shoots Wither Skeleton Skulls and they explode on impact. And I'm not sure if they give the Wither effect. I'm not too sure, certain. But as far as I know, uh, it does... Um, do a whole lot of damage as you can see there um, so yeah your friends better watch out for you man I'm just gonna put that back and we're gonna go on to the next mod now the next mod is called the wand of growth and if you're if you like to be a farmer this is the one for you what you're gonna need here is what you're gonna need here is the basic three two bones and in that order and it just makes the wand of growth it's pretty simple uh, that'll probably be one of the easiest ones you can get uh, there are gonna be some easy ones and some fairly difficult. The only difficult part is that you're gonna need to find emeralds to do all these. So yeah, it just grows a bunch of things. Like it grows all these plants. So if you have a farm, if you have a farm, or if you don't, whichever, if you're just looking for seeds, uh, you can just do this. But uh, so, uh, another wand is gonna show you how to harvest these without actually having to do any work. Let's go put this wand back and start the next wand, okay? And the next one is the one that I was talking about earlier. It's called the Wand of Harvesting, which you're going to need the basic three and two shears. And that'll create the Wand of Harvesting. That's a pretty good looking wand, isn't it? Well, we're going to go see what this does right now. And just like the other wands, you're going to just right click and it harvests. Yeah, and it'll be so much easier just to like, you know, get these seeds, you know? But you gotta, um, I would suggest this one be just for farming mainly because as you can see here, as you can see on the bar, where the wand is on my hot on my hot hot bar. If you can see the wand that's on my heart bar, it is going the, the magic is going fast. So yeah, it's already like halfway through. So you're not gonna wanna do that much for finding seeds. You're just gonna wanna do that for your farms and such. 
basically just wheat. I think it works on potatoes. I'm not too sure. I'm not checking that. Uh, as far as I know, it just works on wheat. wheat. So you'll, you know, very fast you get a lot of bread, to be honest. So we're going to put that back and start on the next one. The next one is called the Wand of Healing. What you're going to need is the basic three, and you're going to have to kill a gas for this one, because it consists of two gas tiers. And then I'll create the Wand of Healing. But Mario, what does the Wand of Healing do? Well, let me show you if I could get some damage going on me. Alright, I got some damage going on me, and I just smacked that down, and it healed me right up. It basically just shoots a bunch of healing potions, instant healing potions. Uh, and you'll, it'll be great if you want to be like a healing mage, if you're like with your friends, and, and then y'all discuss like, who wants to be the healer, and you can just be like, I do, and just like whenever they need healing, just shoot that. It, it is fairly simple, and it does not require you, it does not require you to use a brewing stand, since it just automatically makes these uh, throwable splash potions of instant healing. And, you know, it'll actually be great use for a PvP match. So we're just going to go on to the next one, and we'll put that back. Alright, on to the next one. The next one is called the Wand of Freezing. I bet you're wondering what that does. No, it does not put snow on the ground, it actually does something interesting. You're going to need the basic three, two snowballs, and it'll create the Wand of Freezing. That looks like a pretty interesting wand, doesn't it? So now we're just going to have to go find water. Okay, now we're here where there's water, there's a lot of water that was actually pretty a little bit, a little bit hard to find because we, I was in the desert, um, there's a count away. And what this does is if you right click here, it makes ice, it makes instant ice. So if you're like running from someone, you just like do this, up that, um, you won't, won't really have to, you don't really want to jump because ice will cause you to go farther. So just do that. It actually takes up a lot, so you gotta be careful with it. And you just made a bridge made of ice. And then when you wanna go back, just run back. And just give me a moment. Anyways, yeah, it does take up a lot of mana, just like the Wand of Harvesting. So you're not gonna wanna use that often. You're gonna wanna use that, I guess, in case of emergencies, or in case of you're in PvP and you need a quick getaway. So basically, I guess that would count as an emergency. But anyways, let's go on to the next next wand, shall we? And the next wand is called the Wand of Mining. And what you're going to need is a basic three and two golden pickaxes. So then that will create the Wand of Mining. That looks like an interesting mining wand. We're going to use it on this stuff, to be honest. And you're not going to want to use it on ores, because it is a little buggy, to be honest. And I hope they do improve this or update it later on to where you can mine ores. But basically, instead of just like, you know mining away like that, you can just right click just like the other ones and it'll you know mine all these things and that's pretty amazing that that I think that's pretty useful and it'll be um, good if you're like you know if you want to move your house you can just use this and like all over the place and uh, but yeah don't use it on our ores because that will crash your game let's put that back and let's start the next one and the next one is the one of teleportation which you're gonna need to kill some endermen uh, to get these, to get the Ender Pearls and then make the Eye of Ender using the Blaze Powder. And what you're going to use is a basic 3, and you're going to want two Eyes of Enders on the side of that, and it'll make the Wand of Teleportation. And how this works is basically you just, instead of like killing multiple Endermen, like so many Endermen, to get the amount of wand, uh, the amount of Ender Pearls that this one shoots out, you'll basically just have this wand, and the way, how far you charge back, depending on how far you go. And, um, yeah, you basically have a pretty, like, I think, I think it's about as, as efficient as a stack of Ender Pearls. So, you know, have your fill with that. Just don't kill yourself because it does still do damage on, on teleportation. But anyways, we're going to put this back because I'm losing health. And we're going to start the next wand. Alright, the next wand is called the Wand of Light. And this is better for nighttime to keep monsters away. It's kinda, it works like, exactly like torches, to be honest. What you're going to need is the basic three and two glowstone powders to create the wand of light. And what it's going to do is, well, uh, I think it would be best to do this on nighttime. Alright, now it's nighttime and you just right click the floor. And it creates something like a torch. It creates a very long, not long, it creates a very high powerful ball of uh, light. And I'm not going to want to be near that creeper. Um, I don't have any weapons on me right now. Basic. Oh gosh, uh, I should not have done. I should not have done this. I, I should not have done this. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god.
Die, die already. Yes. Yes, burn. Yes, burn. Burn with a mighty blaze. Yes, you're going to burn. Anyways, that is the Wand of Light, guys, and we will go on to the next one. Now. Alright, guys, the next one is called the Wand of Storms. Now, you're going to want to be very careful with this because uh, what this does, it, does it, it doesn't make rain. Who's that? It doesn't make rain. It actually just shoots lightning at random places, and you're going to want to be careful with that. So, you're going to need the basic three and two wolves. Um, the crafting. The crafting recipe said it would need gray wolves, but I think you can use any kind of wool with it, to be honest. But basically, that creates the wand of storms. I'm gonna try. It. I don't even have to look at that creeper. Yeah, it makes that. I can look at the creeper and it won't shoot at him. It, does, it shot somewhere else. I don't know where it shot. But yeah, that is the the wand of storms. It, it makes lightning shoot at random places, and you're gonna want to be very careful with that because I used this earlier on a on a mod survival. And it, like, I used it and it shot me. So it, like, shot directly on top of me. So, yeah, you're gonna wanna be careful with the Wand of Storms. Um, that was just, again, that's just a warning. But, anyways, that is the Wand of Storms. It shoots lightning at random spots. And we're gonna go on to the next mod right now. Alright, this is the last wand of, of, out of all the wands. And I think it is the most useful wand, to be honest. But it's very expensive. You're gonna need a basic three and two diamonds. And diamonds is already hard enough to find. Be honest, come on, let's, let's face facts. It's pretty hard to find already. There's still a creeper. And I'm gonna see if I can make him a supercharged creeper with this. I'm not too, too sure if it actually made him a supercharged creeper. It made him a supercharged creeper. Oh my god, it made him a supercharged creeper. Oh my god. <laughs> so you're gonna wanna be careful with this. It actually does exactly the effects of lightning. You're not gonna wanna do that on a creeper. Oh, good. It killed him. Oh, and I shot him, too. Kill that. And, uh, I'm actually gonna go find a pig to see if it actually does the same effect to a pig. Finally, some pigs! God dang, that took forever to find. Now, we're gonna shoot the pig. Um, I guess this one's okay. And now he's a zombie pigman. Let's make more and see how this works. How about the name? Okay, doesn't count as me hitting them. So you can make zombie pigments in this regular world. Oh, I missed him. And dude, if you can notice, I am not losing any mana right now. I'm not losing its energy right now. So this wand works perfectly. It'll last you a long time. Now let's hit one and see if all of them... Oh god, all of them are coming after me. All of them are coming after me. Oh my god, that pig is strong. That zombie pigman is strong as heck. I did. I made a mistake. I made a mistake! I made a mistake! Oh god, they're after me! Oh god! Cows protect me! Oh god, that's so creepy! Oh gosh, oh gosh, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, I gotta eat. Can that pig just please stop following me? Oh gosh. Let's go back. And now we're gonna see the other recipes that we can make. Alright, and the next thing is not a wand. These three are not wands, and they are wearable, but they don't show it. Uh, and I will see, I'll let you see that in a minute. So the reason, uh, not reason why they won't show it. I don't know why it won't show it, to be honest. I think it's another bug, and I hope they fix it. This is one's called the Wizard Hat, and you're going to need four blue wools for this one. And a diamond, and that'll create the Wizard's Hat. And as you can see, I can put it on my head, but... It won't show nowhere. It won't show on your head. That's, that's kind of weird, isn't it? So, yeah. These hats do not show up. Oh. These hats do not show up on your character. And that, I think that's weird. The next one is the witch's hat. And you're going to want four black wolves and a diamond. I don't know what's the point of these and why they need diamonds. Maybe they're going to, maybe on the next update, they're going to uh, have some special power to it. But yeah, that's basically it. And the next one, the last one, is the top hat, which is going to be one of the easiest ones to make. You just need to kill a cow for their hide, and one black wool, and that'll create the top hat. So that way, even the top hat is not wearable. You can wear it, you can wear it, but it won't show up. See? It really won't show up. And another thing, guys. And another thing, guys. There are these wizard robes, but you can't create them. There's, like, no recipe to make them. 
So you're just gonna have to go through chests at random areas and hope you can find them. Uh, I'm not sure how durable it is, to be honest. So, uh, actually, I think I could... Oh, where? Oh, this one actually shows. Um, <laughs> is it weird that I kind of look the same still? Just in a different costume? Yeah. Yeah. I, I pretty much look the same. Just without all the blue. Anyways, guys. I really did hope you enjoyed this mod review. Uh, please leave a like if you did enjoy this. And if you haven't subscribed to, to me yet, please do subscribe. It'll help me a lot. And I really do hope to see you guys soon. I really do hope to see you guys soon. Please enjoy the rest of your day or night, whichever it is or where you're at. But anyways...